As COVID-19 cases continue to trend upwards, some of the island's public health facilities are bursting at the seams. At least two hospitals in the western region of the island are above their COVID isolation capacity, while others island-wide are nearing their capacity to treat COVID patients. As Kalisha Williams reports, the ministry is hoping that the completion of two field hospitals at the end of the month will ease some of the burden. The Falmouth Hospital in Trelawney, as well as the Spanish Town and Linstead Hospitals in St. Catherine, are in the ministry's red zone, meaning they are all above 84% of their general capacity to treat patients with COVID-19. The Savannah Lamar Hospital in Westmoreland, Black River Hospital in St. Elizabeth, the Percy Juno and Mandeville Regional Hospitals in Manchester, as well as the Kingston Public Hospital, are over 74% of their capacity. Chief Medical Officer Dr. Jacqueline Bisesa mckenzie gave the breakdown of the press conference on Saturday. This is something that we continuously monitor so that we can find as soon as the hospitals enter that red zone, which is above 85% capacity, we can start to look at interventions to try to, um, to manage that situation to prevent an overwhelming of the system. As for the hospital's ability to isolate COVID-19 patients, the problem lies in Western parishes. We would see that Noel Holmes Hospital, Falmos Hospital, again in the Western side of the island, they are over their isolation capacity for COVID cases. The CMO also pointed out that most of the island's beds for COVID-19 patients are occupied by patients in western parishes. Where we have 174 beds being occupied out of a total of 370 beds. The majority of these are in the western region and you would see that in the western region <clears throat> is where we would see more of our moderate moderately ill, severely ill, and critically ill cases. Health Minister Dr. Christopher Tufton, who was also at the press conference, said this trend is worrying and residents of Western parishes must be warned. So I say again to the people of Westmoreland and Western Jamaica generally, St. Anne is certainly featuring prominent in, in the numbers, that we need to appreciate the consequences of the numbers and the impact on the public health system because everything is geared towards being able to cope. We know COVID is here and it will be here for some time, but we want to be able to treat those who need treatment. Now, there is an expectation that the completion of two field hospitals could ease the pressure on the island's public health system. Both Falmouth and St. Joseph, um, both field hospitals had significant delays because of the weather and because of the nature of the material and the work that was being done, um, we were not able to proceed on the implementation until the weather changed. And so we are, hope, we are very certain, we have been given assurances, barring um, force majeure, that we will be able to complete by the end of January. Kalisha Williams, TVJ News.